This trophy was probably the worst trophy I think I've ever gone through in my trophy hunting time. Um, I was originally playing this on my channel, but having to play it without music just wasn't as fun, so I stopped uploading it and just played it on my own. This was the final trophy I needed in order to get the platinum. And if you don't know what this is, this is the Rip Snorter. It is trial 16 of the Knitted Night Trials. And it is literally all 15 trials strung together back to back. They're not in the same order, but they are all in here. So I'm not really going to go over how to do this best because there's tons of these videos out there on YouTube. Um, but really the 10 minute time that you have to get for the gold medal is really not that hard to do i mean as long as you keep moving you'll be fine you'll totally make it the 15th trial has a ton of stopwatches so you'll be able to get plenty of time off your off your clock even if you're over 10 minutes by the time you get there so don't worry about the time mainly all you have to worry about is not taking hits and making it all the way through this gauntlet of trials because if you die you obviously have to restart so the first couple trials I was pretty good with, I could roll through them pretty quickly, especially the spinning platform one. Um, I'm probably not using the most efficient routes, but again, it doesn't really matter. The goal is to just get through all of them in under 10 minutes to get the gold time. And like I said, there is plenty of stopwatches on the very final one, so you will have no problem getting that time. Just don't stop moving, essentially, and you'll be all right. You really don't even have to roll. I mean, you could do the whole entire thing without rolling at all. So don't stress too much about that. If you feel comfortable on certain trials that you can roll through, definitely roll. Um, it just makes you go a little bit faster. And, you know, if you're going for a fast time, then obviously you want to roll. But I did not care about having the fastest time. I think, like, one of the record times is, like, three minutes and something. I don't know. But anyway, I actually, um, I was trying this so many times, like it was over and over and over for days. I would try it for hours at a time and I would just eventually give up because I was just getting so frustrated. Um, and I had gotten so good at the first few trials that like when I would fail on things like, like this, fail on these platforms, I would get so mad because I've done it so many times. And then I started getting towards the end and I kept failing on the trials at the end and then I have to go through the whole entire gauntlet again just to get back to that point. So if you're struggling with a certain trial, I definitely would recommend going into the just the Knitted Night Trials menu and just practicing the trials that you're struggling on. Just practice them over and over so you can do them three or four times in a row without dying. That way you can practice so that you don't you know, get there in your actual run and then just fall off into the void or take a hit and then screw yourself. So mainly my goal was to not take a hit at least until after the little puffer fish falling platform one, which when we get there, I will mention that. But if I could at least make it all the way through there without taking a hit, then there was only like two trials after that that I was really concerned about taking a hit on and um, I would feel much better about it. But it honestly was very rare that I would get there and not take a hit. So yeah, uh, this right here is probably one of the harder areas. You just have to time it to where you can do your double jump flutter kick thing to get across. Now this here, I would strongly recommend learning how to do this. This skip here is probably makes this part so much easier it's a double jump so you jump flutter as long as you can then you want to do your roll in the air and then hit square so you spin and it's just the easiest way to get across this with all these crabs and then you want to kind of jump like that there and get across here and then just be careful of these eel things just get around them safely be careful rolling it's easy to roll off these circles and then here you want to go left always go left the easiest way to go you shouldn't have any problems with the crabs as long as you go left and this is honestly probably one of the harder parts of the entire trial this part's not too bad just don't panic and just remember 
these platforms are not moving, the little jellyfish things underneath are. So if you stop on that platform, you're just gonna fall off because the platform is not moving. That's a weird brain thing. And like, there's been times where I like stopped on it to rest and I was like, oh, I can just wait here. But the platform's not moving. The thing underneath the platform is moving. So this just, you know, just kind of try to keep it in your brain as to what's gonna disappear and what's gonna appear. Like the purple's gonna appear, the yellow's gonna disappear. Um, just, you know, that one's a little tricky, but it's not too hard to get through. These spikes move really fast and I would get hit on these more often than any other trial and it would really piss me off. So I practiced this trial a lot. Like I would just go over and over and over until I could finally do it. And then afterwards, I really never hit the spikes again. So, and it's just my advice, practice your trials if there's one that you're struggling on. This turret one is pretty easy, really. Uh, there were a couple times where I would get hit by these and that would make me mad because obviously this one's not a very hard one to get through. But you know, it is possible to get hit, so just take your time. Don't worry about rolling. Just make sure you time your jumps properly and get through it safely. It doesn't really get tricky until the very end, but even still, that's not even a super tricky part and you should be okay for the most part. Just, you know. I know it sounds simple to just say to take your time and believe me, I know that more than anyone because I tried this so many times and I wasn't even rushing a lot of the time and I would still mess up. So I understand that this is very frustrating and believe me, I, have platinum crash bandicoot insane trilogy i have platinum crash bandicoot 4 i would much rather platinum those games over again than have to ever do this trial again because it was awful i did not enjoy it it was not fun and you know i feel your pain so you'll get through it eventually i promise you just got to keep trying and you, you'll eventually make it to the end this is kind of a tricky one, to be honest. Uh, just take your time and just be very careful of the cactus things, because especially when you do um, jumps with rolls, sometimes when he lands, he'll like continue to roll, and then you'll roll right into a cactus and take a hit. And you really don't want to take a hit here, because up next is the pufferfish platform one that I was talking about. And this, you're basically just going to want to roll the entire way through. Basically, do not stop rolling other than when you have to jump. Even when you jump, do rolls so that you can clear out from the fish. When you're jumping up these, you want to roll away so that you do not hit the fish. Just be careful you don't roll forward because you can roll underneath the step and then fall. And that's just aggravating. Uh, I got really close here. There were some very butt clenching moments that I had in this run, but I did not take a hit. I did this completely flawless and never took a hit once. So I made it through that without taking a hit, so I was like, oh my god, I'm golden. Because I could usually do this one without taking a hit, although for some reason this first set of lasers were messed up. They kept being like that, you can see how they're out of time, usually they move back and forth together like these two do, but for some reason that one was off, I don't know why. Uh, but I could usually make it through these lasers without getting hit, the hardest part is the end, but um, obviously I never really mentioned. Don't try to go out of your way to get any of these clocks, especially these ones here. They're just not worth it. You'll get plenty of clocks at the end, so just don't worry about the clocks. Now this fire is the very last one that you have to get through before the final trial. And again, this was another one that I would get to so many times and I kept, I would, I kept dying. So I just practiced this one over and over until I knew that I could do it without taking a hit. And Finally made it through without taking a hit. Butt clenching movement right there again. This is the last section. Pick up that last bubble. You can tell I've that's the first I made it this far, because all the other bubbles up to that point were ones I've already picked up. All right, so here you can see all the clocks. So you do not have to rush. You have plenty of chance to 
get rid of your time that you accumulate. I would mainly just go for the minus two clocks. I would not worry about the minus five ones. The minus five ones are just in very risky spots. So I wouldn't recommend going for them because you don't want to get all this way and then die. Like that would just be awful. This is the first time I made it here and I was not dying. So I also have my, in the accessibility settings, you can change these platforms to move them with the right stick. And I think that's easier than tilting the controller. So that is something to maybe check out for sure. If you're having trouble with those platforms, you can set it to move them with the right stick. And it's a little weird to get used to at first, so I wouldn't recommend doing it um, without practicing it first, but um, definitely, definitely think about doing that if you're having trouble with those. So as you can see, I get my time all the way down to 902, and I totally meant to save this recording, but as soon as I completed this and um, the string it together trophy popped and the platinum trophy popped, I was like just so done with the game, I just went straight to my, I you know held the PlayStation button down and backed out. And when you do that, it doesn't allow you to save the recording. Like if you try to hit the share button, you don't have any recordings. So unfortunately, but good thing about this game is it saves because it's like a record, it saves it, but kind of like how it does trophies. So just to show that that is my time and not like ripping someone else's video off, um, I just, you know, went back into it and you can see 902.10, it's the same time, we're in the same outfit, whatever. Don't really need to prove anything, but I just wanted to put this in here because this isn't how I meant to have this video go. But if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you want to. I'll see you next time.